St. Paula was born in Rome on May 5, 347, into one of the first families of Rome. Paula married Typhonus and had five children. In 379, at age 32, Paula was widowed. Due to the influence of St. Marcella and her group, Paula became the model of Christian widows. In 382, Paula met St. Jerome, and this meeting had an extraordinary impact on her life. St. Jerome had come to Rome with Ephenus and Paulinus of Antioch. These bishops inspired Paula to follow the monastic life in the East. In September 385, after the deaths of her children, Balsina, Pope Damasic in 384, Paula and her daughter Exivia left Rome to follow St. Jerome to the simple monastic life in the East. Paula went on a pilgrimage to all the famous places in the Holy Land before setting up her final residence in Bethlehem, where St. Jerome resided, to aid him in his holy work. Paula established a monastery and convent for women in Bethlehem. She presided over it, and St. Jerome presided over the monastery for men. Paula also established and ran a hospital in Bethlehem and devoted her life to caring for the poor in their religious and spiritual mission. St. Saint Paula died in Bethlehem on January 26, 404. She is the patroness of widows and her feast day is January 26. When Paula became widowed in 379, she continued to dedicate herself to her family and domestic duties, but lived in complete adestery and devoted her existence to helping the poor. Becoming increasingly interested in religion. Inspired by St. Jerome to follow him on a journey to the monastic life in, e in East, Paula became a dedicated student of the Holy Scripture and learned both Hebrew and Greek. She was left a widow at age 32, and Paula embraced the religious life, and for 20 years presided over the sisterhood and convent she founded near St. Jerome Monastery in Bethlehem, where she also started and presided over a hospital. St. Paula has inspired me a lot. She learned two languages, Hebrew and Greek, so it really makes me thankful for being able to learn Italian. St. Paula was a gospel-centered woman who experienced and reflected on the teaching and practices of the Roman Catholic tradition and developed her personal, spiritual, and an active faith life. St. Paula was a responsible steward of life who promoted fair use of resources and responded with respect and compassion to everyone, especially the poor she served. St. Paula was a respectful woman who honored and protected the dignity of each individual. St. Paula was a practic gardener of healthy lifestyles who established a hospital in Bethlehem. St. Paula was a woman of creativity, leadership, and service who worked to make a positive difference in the world and responded to others' nears and served her dear neighbor.